Well, good morning. <clears throat> today's uh, today's kind of an unusual day for me. One of my subscribers has uh, uh, told me he was going to be coming to Elo Elo, so he's going to pick up. <clears throat> asked me if he could bring me anything. I said, sure, go ahead and bring me my credit card if you can. I can I can have it mailed to you in New York, uh, where he's from. And uh, so he got my credit card. And I get a text from him last night that uh, he's not coming to Elo Elo, so. I've got to go to Rojas at the other end of Panay Island to pick up my credit card. Uh, joy, joy. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to get out and uh, take a long, hard bike ride today. It's a couple hundred kilometers or better. i got to get up there and get back all in one day. So I'll uh, try to stop and get a few clips of what it's like uh, for a long, hard trip like that. Uh, maybe uh, show you what it's like up there in the entrance of Rojas and, and possibly a couple other stops too. Uh, I know somebody up in Sigma, which is on the way back, and I promised her I might stop by and say hello to her. So let's see if I can make some clips of this trip. There's no sense in wasting that much money on a, and that much time on a long trip without bringing you another video. So uh, hang in there. Let's see what I can find for you today. All right. Thank you for watching my Philippine journey. Because the journey it certainly is. Bye bye. Well, I uh, made it up to a little town called Zaraga. Made pretty good time, got out here in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, it's cold out here this morning. It's very, very cold. Uh, clipping along at 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cold without a shirt or without a sweater or anything. Um, it gets hot here, but in the morning it's pretty cool. Okay, well, I'm in Zaraga. And, uh, you, I got the Zaraga Municipal Building behind me. And let me show you a little bit uh, of it. Here's the, the old church back in the background. And they got a big outdoor uh, theater here. Well, they hold their events. But uh, I can't uh, spend a lot of time on this. It's, it's pretty in here. It's a beautiful little uh, place. And it looks like across the street they got a big, big uh, stadium as well. So there's a lot of places to have activities here. All right, there's my motor. Let me hop on it and get out of here and go a little further down the road. Well, I've been gone about uh, 40 minutes, and I come up to a little town here called uh, called uh, Patotan, and I found this. Uh, I went past it and it came back for you because it looks like we've got this uh, just this this uh, piece of rock came out of the ground here and they've taken and cemented it in underneath it's made some kind of a tourist attraction out of it i'm not sure what it is uh, there's the barangay kind of unusual here but uh, that rock outcropping goes all the way around there and they've closed it in and they've got gates on it, it looks like an admission booth there so they probably made something out of it and up on the top They've put, uh, it looks like the symbol of Christ up there on, on top, so Whatever the shrine is, it means a lot to the locals here, and it's rather unusual, so I thought I'd stop uh, So, it's time to get back on the road on the Panay Express uh, The Pony Express and the Phil Mail and the US Mail is not working, so it's now the Panay Express Well, I've made it about 40 kilometers uh, north of Ilo Ilo, heading toward uh, Rojas and uh, Came, came across this uh, uh, supply uh, power plant for uh, electricity. And I thought I'd give you a shot of it. Uh, covered quite a bit of territory in a good amount of time, so I think I'm going to be on time. But here is Panay Diesel Power Plant. This is uh, where they get a lot of the electricity for uh, the uh, Panay Island. This is the plant number three. Uh, it's 110 megawatts. That's a lot of electricity. Uh, I've noticed I didn't stop, but you'll notice these big towers up here uh, are brand new. Not this particular one, maybe, but we've got a bunch of brand new towers uh, just 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 near me where I just just passed. We had uh, Typhoon Yolanda. Uh, I believe it was November the 7th, 2013. Hit us just before we got here. And uh, a lot of the big towers were pushed over and just wiped out. And they've got, done a real quick job of getting them all rebuilt and the power restored. Uh, I'm going to try to show you. I know that when they 
replaced a lot of the tires. They left the old ones standing because it's just too much labor to take them down. So uh, if I see any of those, I'll show, shoot, shoot, shoot a picture of you, of it for you, so you'll you can see what uh, how powerful these winds were. Yolanda was pretty bad. All right, let me get down the road a little ways. Well, I made it to uh, the outside outside edges of Posse City. Uh, it's about halfway up uh, the Panaya Island. Um, the trip's going pretty smooth. We've got a big weather system coming in from the east uh, offshore uh, near Guam, and I don't know how big it's going to be, so I wanted to get on up here and get the credit card before uh, before it, uh, before that system hits here. Um, let me get you a couple of views of where I stopped. This is the entrance uh, to the area, and this is really pretty out here. Let me get you across the street. There's your uh, water buffalo, uh, what they use to uh, plow the rice fields. <clears throat> These are all rice fields out here. It looks like they're, they're planted. Some of them are planted. And then here's some more out here. And you see those yellow signs out there in the uh, ground. That's their fertilizer. They apparently have different kinds. Uh, I don't know if you can see them, but there's a worker out there on the edge of the, edge of the forest, or uh, the edge of the jungle there. This is really cool. I mean, you got tropical plants everywhere. Uh, it's like lush landscaping all over the entire island or the Philippines. <coughs> okay, well, okay, we're going to end this one and uh, go a little further. You can see the mountains in the background. It's really fun. Unlike where I'm from, you always all you see is flatlands. I just had to stop in this particular section of the road here to show you what it's like when you're going through the mountains. Uh, they're not the steep mountains, but we got some pretty good sized hills in the background. Uh, I'm north of Posse City, about uh, 10 kilometers, and I still have about 60 more to go. But I just want to show you what it's like through, as you come through the mountains here. Uh, it's really, really pretty. Tropical, tropical everything everywhere. Uh, fresh fruits and vegetables over here lots of bananas and it seems like those pineapples you see the fresh pineapples there at the stand uh, they're just lots of them right into this particular two or three miles of the road here uh, I've seen them growing I've got some in some pictures uh, they grew wild in some behind somebody's house uh, but I just want to get a clip for you here and we'll head on down the road a little further Okay, I'm in a little town called Sigma. It's uh, getting closer to uh, uh, Rojas. I'm about 35 kilometers from Rojas. And right now I'm at the Sigma Public Market. This is where they, they get all their local produce and groceries. And uh, I've gotten a little help. I'm going to find out where Kathy's little shop is, a lady friend that I know. And I'm going to go to her place. It's a little early, so I'll probably visit with her on the way back. Um, that's some kind of a little uh, shake and uh, drink place for the college kids. It's, it's mounted right there at the college. But here's um, here's Sigma. Uh, just another look at uh, what's, what you'll find here. So I'm going to turn around and head over to her place and I'll probably visit with her on the way back because I'll have more time. Okay, right across the street from the CSU, the Capiz State University, We've got Kathy's little business. Hi, Kathy. Hi. And she's invited me in for her drinks. So I'm going to visit with her for a little while. And then I'm going to head on over to Rojas. <laughs> okay.